Casey Sales, a local hero. He's got a sack today, and he found the girl with the thin mints. He traded a football for an entire box. That's some Girl Scout ingenuity. High fives for her. She gets a souvenir, and Casey taking the thin mints with him. That's a solid transaction on both sides. I'm going to be watching you all day, and I'm loving this. Oh, I got to let somebody know. I told you I was bringing out that crystal today. I'm not too flashy, but a little dashy. You hear me? I got y'all today. I love it. Thank you. Thank Good you, luck. Jenny. Appreciate it. Kicker from the 30. Return team lined up at the opposite 30. Can't move to the ball is fielded. And here goes Keith Mumphrey. And they're going to turn it around with room on the near side. And for the first time, they get creative. And the Battlehawks have the sideline. And a kickoff return for Joe Powell to the end zone. And now they say he stepped out. No, touchdown, St. Louis. Drafted free agent of the Giants. And on the reverse, the first of its kind. And every week, we're going to see more and more returns as teams get used to these new rules. This was the first reverse. You got to knock off one guy because the guy you're blocking is right in front of you. If you reverse field and come back around, now it's all about getting in the end zone and the foot stays in long enough. And we have our first touchdown. By a field goal deep in their own territory. Here's Walker, steps up and throws. Ball was tipped, and it's caught. Racing down the sideline is who else but Cam Phillips for the touchdown. How about 84 yards to the house? Already the league leader in touchdown catches. That's his fifth of this young season. Just a beautiful route. Watch the eyes of the defender. I mean, his eyes are in the backfield. You watch him, and he is Green. up thinking that Green. Walker's about to run. Instead, no, he doesn't. Will Stutter go over the top? Hey, you find what's been the most productive wide oh, receiver in the XFL through oh, the first Green. couple weeks. Oh, oh, oh. You can't leave him uncovered. Hey, Flowers off his back foot. Goes in the traffic, and the catch is made. His home crowd fired up. Second and 14. Pressure again. Walker gets it away. It's Cam Phillips making people miss into the end zone for yet another touchdown. And Ballard had a decision to make. Strong safety. Guess wrong. Out to Williams in the flat. To the 10. In there. End zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Campfire. <laughs> Houston's extinguishing it. Yeah. On third and ten, Silvers. Towards the end zone, play. Touchdown, Dragons. And that one swatted down back to Jones. You can throw two forward passes in this league, and he does. And connects with Lance Dunbar. Unbelievable savvy from Landry Jones and Bob Stoops loves it. Ball is batted back to him, and as long as that first pass is caught behind the line of scrimmage, you can throw it back down the field, and he, Landry Jones, knew it right away. His eyes stayed downfield. Here's the batted ball. It comes right back to him, and since he's behind the line of scrimmage, he's like, okay, here we go. Bang, eyes downfield, and he finds a completion. The tip drill and the Seattle defense again, Kurt, just like they did last week against the Vipers, coming up big here with another turnover. Oh, the mask. The Dragon's mask. Oh, the, turnover, the turnover mask. Charge timeout. Makes its way. Seattle. And off of this edge. They got it off in time. Jones. Caught Parham. The big tight end rumbles down the sideline. Six foot eight and speed. His second touchdown of the half. 65 on that one. How about the long strider? Parham goes all the way down Dallas the field. The it looks like he's loping 
but it seems as though he's gaining distance along the way. Watch as Landry Jones just floats to his left to buy enough time to allow Parham to get past the linebacker, and then he delivers that ball where high for the six foot eight tight end. And then the speed takes over. He was clocked in the low four sixes as a. And they'll do it again. Straight ahead, a bruising run for a St. Louis touchdown. Christine Michael. Little toss and a pass off of it. The morning Pearson out to Alonzo Russell. Tiamu stays on his feet and he whistles one complete for a first down to Alonzo Russell. Ranthony Tejada had him around the ankles. Nobody's playing with more confidence than, than Tom who's playing right now to be able to have the ability to not just stay up. Rosalino's made from 39. Got the leg. Wow. By an eyelash from 58. Did you come for the kicker celebration? Because we got the kicker celebration. <laughs> Johnson again going deep this time McBride's open into the end zone for the Wildcat touchdown one of their targets this year here comes the pressure and going screenplay Carter got it that's FL here's Josh Johnson going deep down the sideline this time Trey McBride holds it in he wasn't going to let that opportunity pass him up you knew he was kicking himself from the earlier drop on what would have been his second touchdown, and Josh Johnson comes back to him again. This time, nothing fancy. He just runs a go route on the outside, runs right by. Again, remember, that's good coaching. Remember, Lawrence just came out of the game, and now he's replaced by his backup, Duran Grant. And he just runs right by him. That's great coaching. Out of the backfield, Carter. With blocks. Carter flipped into the end zone. Hey, he told Jenny Taft if he could get there one more time, he'd do a flip. This time, he delivered. Live up to it. You said you'd do the flip. Take me through the touchdown and the celebration. Okay. The play been drawn up all week. It was a great time to call it. I had a chance to give y'all guys the up and over. And we went up. And we went over. Six to the ball. Much love. Much love to Mr. Excitement. And I think he's still excited. <laughs> As is everyone in black right now. Big dog. <laughs> and I'm left on the sweat. The sweat. In here. Third in the yard. Oh, they get that and more. Martez Carter going in for his third touchdown of the game. Backflip, Mr. Excitement. This is awesome. I mean, what an unbelievable. I mean, taking the most out of your opportunities. Talked about Elijah Hood, their starter, had some struggles the first two weeks. Carter's now getting his his chance, and God, is he making the most of it? This LA offense looks light years different from what we've seen in the first two weeks. Let's get it down to Jenny Taft and her new best friend. My new best friend, am I allowed to have favorites around here? Because Mr. Excitement might be one of them, and Larry Rose as well, because they told me they're a package deal. Larry, how impressed have you been with this guy's performance today? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not impressed because he do it every day in practice. Literally, he does it every day in practice. I told him all week, when you get your chance to shine, get out there and do what you do. And you know what I'm saying, he doing it. We are seeing that today. And you know what, you told me, if you had more space, you'd get the backflip in. Where did you learn this? When I was little, I, uh, I always taught myself. I was real athletic when I was young. We was always outside all day. I, was, I grew up in the area where they put a basketball goal in the street and everybody in the neighborhood just hooped. But uh, at one point, I wanted to be the best power range ever, so no one else can do a backflip. I could. 
Yes, you can. And we are loving it today. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We are loving what we are seeing from you guys. Keep it up, all right? This is oh, fun. Definitely. That last flip was for you. I told you I got you. The determination to get in the end zone was just so I can get back over here and see how stunned you was to see me flipping that end zone. We are loving it. Everyone is loving it, guys. Thank you. Maybe another. I mean. Maybe. Maybe. Appreciate y'all appreciate at home for watching, though. Brissett, first down and more. Still on his feet. And the defenders get their first touchdown of the game. And a lot of people are happy that this game is now over 44 and a half points. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Anybody who is sweating the over now can take a deep breath. Again, they've run this play a few times now. They're going to pull the backside offensive lineman. You see just a single back gap type scheme. And really, Brissett just kind of does the, the back end kind of by himself, made the safety miss.